idea how many people are here, but I think it's much bigger than the Glenn Beck rally. Because I actually came to the Glenn Beck rally, and I had no problems getting here. And I know that there are a lot of people stuck on the roads or on metros trying to get here but can't. Plus, just the, I just knew it was going to be a groovy crowd, and it, it just is a very. This is amazing. Is it like Woodstock? Were you at Woodstock? I'm old enough, but no. Uh, this is your Woodstock. Huh? This is your Woodstock. Yeah, it is kind of. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's. It's a great crowd. <laughs> so why are you here, David? Why'd you come all this way? I came out here to help you know, restore sanity and do my part for the coffee party. I just wanted to be around a whole bunch of Americans that represented a great big, huge, broad slice of life. Because when I look out in the crowd, this is the America that I know and love. Because I'm a mama grizzly too, and I feel like Sarah Palin's mama grizzlies don't speak for me. The coffee party mommy, mama grizzlies speak for me. <laughs> How many kids do you have, Andy? I have three kids. Yeah, three beautiful kids, and they're all here today for the same reason I am. Linda, you're on camera. Where did you travel from? Scottsdale, Arizona. Isn't Arizona where they want to keep fear alive? Yes. <laughs> they work very hard at keeping fear alive. So what are you doing here if you're from Arizona? To show that there are Arizonans that are different than the media portrays us. Oh, that's good. There's that's some, good. some that like sanity, but actually we're trying to create sanity. I, I don't think we're restoring it. We have to start from scratch. <laughs> I've met a lot of sane people in Arizona, a lot of good people in Arizona. We just have to gather together and create it. Yes. You have to tell me what's going on. What? I can't see. You can't see. Oh, you can't see. No. Oh, okay. so you have to explain what's going on. Oh, okay. Like I'm a blind person. They're, they're blind using person. the okay. rescue capsule that they rescued the miners. No way. Yes. Yeah. But if you have too many people of color at a rally, well then you must just be asking for something. <laughs> Special rights, like eating in restaurants or piggyback rides. <laughs> Something we as a society are not ready to give. Greatest, strongest country in the world. Greatest, strongest country in the world. Wake up, stand up, and vote. <laughs> Our friends, the Backbone Campaign with the coffee party. Um, we decided we'd get the preamble out here at the mall. We, we wanted to show that you know we too care about the Constitution and we believe that not one group owns it. So we're kind of here to let everybody sign it. Anyone can sign it. Doesn't matter how you feel about anything. You're, you're a person and it's we the people so we're all signing it. People have been really enjoying it so far and, and it's a really special thing and so we hope um, you know it gets some people to turn their heads and, and remember the words of the preamble because they're still relevant today. So we, we love our preamble. It was with us in the convention in Louisville and it's here with us today and hopefully it'll be with us again. So thanks to Backbone Campaign and thanks to all of our volunteers to make this happen. Yeah, don't we have plans for it in January? Yeah, again, we will be collaborating with Backbone and many other groups. January 21st, the anniversary of the Citizens United decision, we will be back here in D.C. with the preamble and with various other props and people and signs and things to say because nobody is happy with the Citizens United decision. Maybe except the Citizens United who won. <laughs> But we'll be there January 21st. This is like the perfect place for us to be, and it's great to see, it's really great to see all the people I've already met and new people that I haven't met before. You guys so, having a nice time so far? Yeah. Go stand right in front of the Constitution and look at Paul. <laughs> it looks like everybody's jumping for civility right now, getting ready for a scientific experiment. Damn it, I missed it. We didn't have the 
money or the resources to do it, but John Stewart and Stephen Colbert organized it for us. Yeah, I feel like this is going to make a difference on not only a Tuesday, but in general. I think people are going to be able to, you know, take a step back and um, understand that we can't do democracy in a panic and frenzy. Um, and that's what's been going on for the past year. Just hysteria and panic. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to calm down and collect ourselves and make better decisions. How are you doing? Good. I got a great shot of you missing the jump. Yep. <laughs> Go find your ball holder.